It's been over a year now since I uploaded my first Tachiyomi guide video and since then, there's been a lot of changes and important updates to the app. Also, browsing through the comment section of that video, some of you still had a lot of questions regarding the app and I even saw a few that are still clueless about how the app works which is mind-blowing to me because I explained the installation process step by step in that video. So, dear viewer, Please, before you scroll down and use that beautiful fingers of yours to type something in the comment section, watch the video first. And if after you've watched the whole video and you still have a question, then go ahead. The floor is yours. I'll answer any question to the best of my abilities. And yeah, one year later, Tachiyomi is still the best manga reader app of all time. It's the fucking GOAT. First of all, it's free. You don't have to pay for anything. If you are a broke as shithead like me, then that word is music to your ears. Free. But if you have some extra money and wants to support the industry, then for just $2 a month, you can avail a subscription and read all of Shonen Jump's manga catalog on their official app which is Manga Plus by Shueisha. This is not sponsored by the way, but I wish it is. I just want to show you that there are alternatives, very good alternatives that you can choose from. But I guess the downside of it, well, not really, is the manga catalog itself. It's only exclusive for jump titles, so outside of that, you're fucked. But with Tachiyomi, because it's open source, you can read whatever the fuck you want. You want to read Berserk? Here it is. Maybe you want to switch things up a little bit and wants to read something with color. There's Korean manhwa and Chinese manhwa. Maybe you're feeling western. There's comics. Feeling a little spicy? There's doujins and hentai. A lot of hentai. A worrying amount of hentai, Jesus Christ. Tachiyomi has everything, everywhere, all at once. Also, unlike those virgin manga apps on Google Play Store that has a fuck ton of ads, like 80% of the interface is pure ads, Chad Tachiyomi, no fucking ads whatsoever. And if you have a My Anime List or Analyst account, you can link them to Tachiyomi so whenever you finish reading a chapter or a whole manga, it will automatically update on your My Anime List or whatever website you use. Those are just some of the features that Tachiyomi excels at. And we're not even started yet. I'm just warming you up, you know, tickling your balls a little bit before we proceed to the guide itself. So now that you're already dancing at the palm of my hands, let's go ahead and start the guide. I will say this first, Tachiyomi is only available on Android. Let me say that again. Tachiyomi is only available on Android. Does this work on iOS? Big shut the fuck up! I have received so many comments on my last video regarding this and no, it is not available on iOS. The developers don't have any plans for any iOS version so if you want to use Tachiyomi, buy an Android phone or you can use the desktop version, Suayomi. More on that later on. But going back to Tachiyomi, you can download the app on their official website, tachiyomi.org. The link will be at the description below. Note that that Tachiyomi is not available on Google Play Store so you need to personally go to their official website to download the APK file. This is what the landing page of the website looks like on desktop and this is the mobile one. Click download and then pick the stable version and install it on your phone afterwards. Now that you have Tachiyomi on your phone, let's set it up. If you open the app, the landing page will be your empty library. Don't worry, we'll fill that up later. But first things first, what you need to do is to navigate to browse and then switch to extension tab. There's a thousand extension to choose from. Find the extension that you'd like to use, then press the install button next to your desired extension and then accept the installation from. Extensions are basically your source, so it's important to install a few of them. For starters, you can install install Manga Dex, Manga Life, or any extension that has manga in its name if you want to read a manga. Same with Manuas, install Webtoon or any one of these extensions. And most importantly, don't forget to install Enhentai for the fucking culture. All the extensions that you installed will be visible on the sources tab. 
there they are. After installing your extensions, let's quickly head to more at the bottom right corner and click categories. What you want to do is to add categories on your library. It's like a sorting mechanism so your library looks clean and in order. For starters, let's add a currently reading category and done category. This will all make sense in the next step. After setting up your library, it's time to find some mangas to read. Quickly head back to browse and pick one source. Let's say manga decks. Let's go with that for now. As you can see, there's a huge assortment of manga and manhwa in here that you can read. Say you want to read Chainsaw Man, just click it and add to library. You can pick where you want to place it. In this case, we want to put it on the currently reading category and done. While we're at it, let's add more manga to your library. Say solo leveling. You want to read it after Chainsaw Man, right? Click add to library and choose default. That would serve as our waiting list. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more here and there we go. Go back to your library and as you can see, there they are. We got some bangers here. Berserk, Vagabond, Binland Saga, One Punch Man, and on your currently reading tab, we got Chainsaw Man. Seriously, if you haven't read those mangas, please do yourself a favor because they're fucking good. And with that said, you now have the very base knowledge in using Tachiomi. You can now go ahead and read Metamorphosis, you fucking degenerate. And although I said that base knowledge is enough, let's be honest here, it's not. So if you want to use Tachiomi to its fullest potential, stick with me until the end. We still have a lot to talk about. For example, downloading manga chapters for offline viewing. That's right. Not only can you read manga online, you can also do it offline with Tachiyomi. All you need to do is long press a chapter, select all the chapters that you want to download, or better yet, click this icon on the top right corner to select all. Once you selected them, click the download button on the bottom left corner. Navigate to more, and then download queue, that's where you'll find all the manga chapters that you are currently downloading. After they're finished, go to the manga that you downloaded, and there you'll see all the chapters that are currently downloaded and available for offline viewing. Now, on the front cover of a manga, as you can see, there are two numbers at the top. The green one represents the number of chapters that you haven't read, and the red one represents the number of downloaded chapters on that specific manga. Usually, if you open the Tachiyomi app, it'll automatically perform an update on every manga on your library for every latest chapter releases. But if you want to manually do it, just go to updates and click this button on the top right corner and it'll show here all the latest chapter releases on each manga in your library. You can also check your reading history here. If you want to delete them, it's up to you. You can also go incognito mode which pauses your reading history. Very handy when you're reading some sus. Shit. At the top of that, you can toggle the downloaded only feature. It basically hides all mangas that are not downloaded and highlight all the ones that do. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a library that has downloaded only on and one that has it off. And if you want to really personalize your Tachiyomi app, you can do so at the settings. Go to appearance if you want to change the mode. I prefer dark mode and this steel and turquoise theme because it's neat. You can go to library so you can change the display. I prefer that 3x3 format. I don't know about you. And remember what I said at the beginning about linking my anime list to your Tachiyomi? You can do it here at tracking. Just log in your my anime list account or any account that you have on this list. After you've done that, if you notice, if you click on a manga, there's this button in the middle called tracking. Just click that and add tracking. You'll search the my anime list website for that manga, click it and track that bitch. Now let's touch upon the reading side of things. At the settings still, you can click on a reader and customize your reading experience. As for me, the only thing that I change here is the background color. Instead of black or white, I made it automatic. What it does is it blends the background color to the actual pages in the chapter. For example, in this page, white is pretty dominant so the background is also white. But here, as you can see, the top part of the page is predominantly black so the top background color is black and the bottom is white. And lastly, in this page, black is the dominant color so the whole background is also 
black. It creates this sense of continuity on the pages for me, that's why I use it. And personally, I read manga from left to right, just like how God intended it to be. But if you are one of those people that likes to read it vertically, you can tap on the page and this bar will come up. Click the settings button on the bottom right corner and in the reading mode, choose vertical. If you like it smooth, then choose continuous vertical. And if you're reading a manhwa, choose the webtoon mode. There are also instances, although they're rare, where an extension suddenly just stops or is no longer accessible, making it unable for you to read a manga from that extension or download any chapters. When this problem strikes, you can choose to migrate that specific manga to a different extension. To do that, click this overflow button on the top right corner and tap Migrate. Choose a different extension on where you want to migrate your manga. In this case, I choose Manga Life. Select Migrate and as as you can see, from Manga Dex, it is now on Manga Life. Note that downloaded chapters do not transfer with migrations. And lastly, and probably the most important thing that you need to know before you start your binge read is how to create a backup of your whole Tachiyomi library and how to restore it if something goes wrong. So what you want to do is navigate to more and click backup and restore. To create a backup, click the create backup button. Of course, you want all of these things checked out so we'll proceed on create. This .proto.gz file will be made. Let's save that and that file will now be your backup in case something went wrong with the Tachiyomi app. In the rare case that something unthinkable do happen on your Tachiyomi app, let's say someone uninstalled it or the app itself got corrupted or something, you can install it again and go back to Backup and Restore and this time click the Restore Backup button. Select the .proto.gc file that you created and after a few minutes, your Tachiyomi app is now up and running again like nothing happened. And with that, you're all set. That's pretty much all you need to know. Just follow all the steps and I promise you nothing will go wrong. And if you have any question, the first thing that you must do is to head to the frequently asked questions corner of the Tachiyomi website because there's a high chance that they already answered your questions there. If you need help troubleshooting, there's a troubleshooting corner in the website as well. Another option is to join the official Tachiyomi Discord server and ask your question there. All links will be in the description below. Or you can just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. In this portion, just to show you my own Tachiyomi app, here it is. As you can see, I have so much backlog. The reason for that is because I'm currently reading 50 plus ongoing mangas right now. Not to mention the manuas. I actually just made a video on this manhwa called Doombreaker. It's so good, so check it out. I'm also in the middle of rereading all of One Piece because I'm a madman. I'm currently at Thriller Bark that's around chapter 400, so I still have 600 chapters to go. Oh, wish me luck. And these are the completed mangas that I finish. And what's that culture tab you ask? That's where my hentai manuas are located. So yeah, that's my very questionable Tachiyomi app. Before I end this guide, I'll just quickly highlight these alternative versions of Tachiyomi called Forks. There's four of them in total. They're basically different versions of Tachiyomi with their own unique features, so if you don't like the base app, then feel free to experiment with these four. There's Neko, a manga dex focus fork with its built-in manga recommendation section. Tachiyomi J2K with its own unique approach to the design of the base app. Honestly, out of all the forks here including the base app, Tachiyomi J2K looks the cleanest. The categories are very dynamic and you can edit the manga details if you want. Tachiyomi AZ, on the other hand, has a hamburger menu style of navigation compared to other forks with their bottom navigation style. If you're like me who can stop reading hentai manga every single day, then this fork is for you because it has built-in sources of many popular hentai sources with additional features. It also has a manga recommendation from my anime list and analyst which is quite nice. And lastly, there's Tachiyomi SY which is a mix between Tachiyomi and Tachiyomi J2K and other new features. Also, if you don't have an Android phone like I said earlier or you just prefer to read manga on your desktop, then there's Tachides or Suwayomi, which is basically Tachiyomi on desktop. After you download the file, extract it and click the Tachides browser launcher to launch the app. And then set it up just like how you set up a Tachiyomi on mobile. 
it's the same procedure. As always, all the links of each fork together with Suayomi will be in the description below, so feel free to download whatever suits your taste. I hope this video helps you in some way, shape, or form, and comment, Tachiomi is only available on Android at the comment section below. I will heart every comment I see and that would also let me know who made it till the end. And that's all. Bye!